Hey guys, so I've been getting tons of emails from people, or not emails, PMs, um, asking how I made my go-kart, and I, I get probably about 20 a week or something, and it's, just, it's a bit annoying, so I thought rather than doing an essay long PM for everyone, I'll just make a video, and hopefully this helps you out a bit, because I did um, build videos, but I didn't really do how I, like how to make a go-kart, so, yeah. Now, before you even make a go-kart, you got to think about designs. Now, there are a few free designs of go-karts. A good site is DIYgokarts.com. Um, they have free go-kart plans, mini bikes, mini choppers, uh, lots of things. And they also have a forum where people post up their builds, or you can just ask whatever question you want. Uh, you can search for it and it will most likely be there. Uh, there's tons of go-kart gurus there and um, yeah, they're more willing to help you out. Now, in the designing stage, now the frame is probably the cheapest part. The most expensive part is your wheels uh, and your drivetrain. Um, engines you can usually pick up um, at garage sales or eBay or the tip um, side of the road you can usually pick those up fairly cheap so um, or even you know like a, a, a relative they might if they find out you're making a go-kart they might say oh I got one of those in the shed you can have it so yeah just just ask around just um, put the put it out there that you're wanting an engine and you know you might be surprised at what people can offer you so yeah, the most expensive part is the drivetrain, the sprocket, the clutch, um, the bearing blocks, the axle, the wheels, the brake, caliper, and the disc. That that is that's all quite expensive. Um, the frame is easy. Um, now you will need a welder to weld up the frame, but metal these days is quite cheap. So um, to build a whole frame, you're probably looking at about. Uh, 60 bucks for all the metal if that it's it's quite cheap the seat on this one is a bit dodgy I just got this from a school chair and I just chopped the legs off bent them in a bit and then welded it on um, you, can, you guys can do it better than that you could probably get a car seat or just make one and weld that on that's pretty easy um, now the drivetrain the axle I got this one machine but you can buy them um, you can buy them from your local go-kart shop but it's usually quite expensive because they're racing ones and anything racing go-kart related is quite expensive so you're probably better to go on a site like BMI go-karts or something like that and um, that's an online site and they sell axles in many different sizes they also sell like um, wheel hubs and the wheels and brake discs and sprockets and everything the sprockets um, for a sprocket and the hub you're probably looking at about forty dollars thirty dollars um, or maybe even fifty just depends for the clutch they're usually about fifty dollars anywhere up to seventy dollars um, this is a centrifugal clutch or centrifugal clutch is what's what's actually called um, now you can use things called torque converters and what they are is um, a centrifugal clutch has to spool up to a certain RPM before it actually engages. What it has is like um, some springs and some pads, and when it spools up to a certain RPM, they fling out and grip this drum here, which then drives the wheels. Um, so it's like an automatic clutch, basically. Now, what a um, torque converter is, or CVT, um, basically it has a variable, um, variable transmission, um, and instead of having it to spool up and it just has sort of like one gear um, the pulley can actually with, when you speed up it gets bigger and you get a different ratio and so you can um, yeah you always have like max torque throughout the whole thing which is really good but they're quite expensive they're about probably about four hundred dollars for the whole setup but in America it's a lot cheaper than that but over in Australia it's quite expensive now this engine is a Honda GX 120, it's 4 horsepower, although I've done a few little mods to it, like remove the governor, which is not really recommended if you're not really experienced with engines or anything. Uh, I've got a straight pipe on it as you can see there, well, it's actually a 3 stage header, 
um, not as loud as a straight pipe but pretty much just has a little bit of restriction um, yeah a few other little things and this probably pushes about four and a half to five horsepower now um, for a go-kart engine wise you probably want about five horsepower upwards um, below that you're gonna sort of bog out a bit and this one isn't too bad but um when I get like my uncles and stuff to drive it it bogs out quite a lot but I don't weigh a lot for about 60 kilos or something so it's all right for me if it's only for like your kids or something like that then you know a five horsepower engine is fine but if you're a bit bigger um, a bit older or something you probably want to look about six and a half horsepower or if you want a lot of power get like a dirt bike engine uh, 125 or 250 cc you can pick those up fairly cheap just in the paper you could probably get one for about um, anywhere from fifty dollars to about two hundred dollars now the sprocket uh, the brake setup on mine the disc I got from BMI go-karts on eBay and the disc and all that I got off um, a motorbike when you're doing your brake setup you probably want to look more for like motorbike parts because they're generally a lot cheaper than um, buying a ready actual made go-kart caliper and they're a lot better because you know they're made to stop a motorbike at 200 kilometers per hour so this one is off a um, GPX 250 Kawasaki now if you look on eBay you can probably get a um, caliper and a mass cylinder and stuff for fairly cheap you could probably get a whole brake set up for $100, $100 and um, the disc you could probably get off a motorcycle as well and somehow make a mount or something but um, a disc like that you can probably pick up for about 50 bucks or less on eBay from BMI carts I'm not really sure how much they sell them for nowadays um, but they've definitely gone down in price since the last time when I bought it uh, it's a bit a bit sad to see how cheap they are now compared to when I bought my bloody thing um, now the steering wheel on mine I got from a go-kart shop um, it set me back about 70 bucks but it came with a hub and everything um, oh, my phone doesn't really like this it came with a hub you can hopefully see that there and um, yeah I just welded that onto my steering shaft so oops refocus there now like I said, the frame, um, just got to chop it up and weld it up. Uh, if you don't have a drop saw and a welder, um, that's probably like quite like the most expensive part is the tools required to make a go-kart. Um, now, I mean, if you're going to make a go-kart, you'll most likely get into other types of um, engineering sort of things, so they will come in handy later on. Um, don't think it's going to be wasted. you most likely use it sometime in the future. Um, but for a welder and a drop saw and you know all this sort of tools that will set you back um, quite a lot. A drop saw will be about $200 anywhere up to $400 um, if you want a good one. Uh, my Makita one was I think about the $300 mark. Um, a welder you can get a cheap arc welder. It takes quite a lot of skill to get good at it um, so you will need quite a lot of practice, but an arc welder um, can be about 80 bucks to about 150 bucks. But yeah, they're pretty cheap. Just go to your local hardware store; they'll have a couple of arc welders, or you can get a flux core MIG welder. Um, that's probably a bit better and a lot easier. It's just pretty much like soldering. You just pull the trigger and you know, or hot glue gun. Basically, it's pretty easy. Um, and but they're quite expensive. They're, you know, anywhere up to two hundred dollars for one of those. Um, so yeah, the tools of actually you need is probably the most expensive part, but everything else is pretty simple. Um, if you go on DIY go karts, they have the um, plans of building go kart, and they tell you in detail on how to make everything from all this steering system. This steering system I have on mine is actually from the um, DIY go kart plans. Um, my frame I made myself just it's just basically like a rectangular frame I put this little um, bumper on it just so I don't destroy my steering the wheels on mine are from a ride on lawnmower um, I got those for free and yeah that's, that's all I can 
really tell you guys. Um, if you, like I said, just go on Deal by Go Karts, and they'll have everything on there. Uh, I'll put the link down below. I'll also put the link to the forum if you don't really know how to um, get there. I'll have a link directly to the go kart plans. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and hopefully, I can redirect all my PMs to this video so I don't have to write out, um, you know, 300 word essays every week. So, uh, I'll catch you later.